so I made it to Friday with my uh, work and today I'm going to head to the railway station and catch a train to the ancient city of Kandy. Let's go to the railway station. So here at the train station, Kandy, second class. Let's go. So we just got to the train station, Bedlam, and we asked about the train to uh, Kandy. And there's a strike, so the train has been cancelled. So now we've got to get somehow get a taxi to Candy, which is miles away. So we're gonna get this Uber here that's following my colleague from Jakarta who's kind of here with me as well. It should take about three to four hours. Off we go to Candy. Five minutes to go, we've been on the road for two and a half hours. So we're trying to overtake this lorry and uh, let's see if we can do it without killing ourselves. Here we go. Just made it. It is falling and the bats are out. to 7 p.m. and we've made it to the Ozo Candy Hotel so tomorrow we'll see some of the sights goodbye for tonight so good morning from Candy um, I'm on the fifth floor the top floor of the hotel just to bask in the glory of the city look at that so I'm gonna walk around the lake for a little bit and I'm gonna come back have breakfast and then go on a proper tour of Candy right so I've made it to Candy Lake. It's actually an artificial lake because it was uh, made in I think 1807 uh, by the Royals. It's their lake. Uh, fishing is banned in it, but it's not stopping some of the pollution leaking or leaching into it. Uh, I'm going to walk all the way around it and then go back to the hotel. Let's start wandering around the beautiful lake right in the center of Candy. So let me give you a little bit of history about Kandy. Uh, back in the 15th century, I think, it was a Sinhalese uh, kingdom. And obviously the kings built this, uh, this lake, they built a palace, they built temples, I'm gonna show you some of those later on. And then the Portuguese came to Sri Lanka, they took over the coastal areas of Colombo and Nagombo, and they tried to take Kandy, but they always failed. And the Dutch came, they failed in the same dismal way. They could never get to Kandy, not because the Kandians were good at fighting, it's because of its location right in the center. And to trek through the jungle meant disease and all sorts of terrible things, plus the sharpshooters taking them out every time they came. And then it took the British, finally, I think in the, in the 19th century to take Kandy. And they got rid of the Sinhalese kings and, well, they imposed their own King George on Sri Lanka and he became the colonial ruler of this place um, and then Sri Lanka became independent and now Kandy is one of the main tourist draws of Sri Lanka and the second largest city. Whoa look at that monitor lizard down there, that's a, a big specimen if ever I've seen one, look at that. It's heading right for a duck, is that duck gonna turn around? Come on duck turn around, there's a monitor lizard right behind you, look! Oh, there we go. So I just moved away from the lake for a minute and I uh, just wandered around and found myself here in front of that great clock tower and this statue of a guy called General Andruna Ratwat. I've pronounced that completely wrong, I am positive. But there you go. So I think I'm in downtown Candy and it's really busy bakeries, banks and all sorts of things. Uh, just looks like Colombo really. Back at the lake, looking at this fantastic white colonial building in front of me. Um, that must have been a grand building back in its day. Ah, so it's the Queen's Hotel Candy. And over there is the Temple of the Tooth, 
which we're going to go and see later on. So there's an island there in the, in the centre of the lake and I'd read somewhere, I'm pretty sure, that one of the Candian kings, I can't remember which one, kept his own private harem of ladies on the island and obviously he visited as often as he could, as you would. This duck, is it normal to haul that stuff on its head? It's actually fishing there, they're feeding them. It smells nice here because they're selling loads of flowers for people going into the temple, no doubt. All the insects are buzzing around, I don't know if you can see them. They're going mental. So I can hear like a screeching noise and they are the fruit bats up in the trees. They're all hanging from the branches everywhere. Something else that I like that the Candian authorities have done is as you're walking around the lake you'll see signs on trees. I'll just tell you what sort of tree it is. Uh, like this one, the Arjuna tree. Never heard of it but it looks good. Or the Ashok with these beautiful orange flowery things. So I've reached the southeastern edge of the lake. Um, and we head back right around, back to the hotel. We can just see how gorgeous Candy looks from here with the highlands in the background. Hopefully we'll get to some of these places when we do our tour later on. So when I was a kid in England, I was really interested in bird watching for some reason. And I always wanted to see a kingfisher, never saw one. And now there's one sitting here, I think. It was just sitting on that branch. And when I turned around, it flew away. So there's no evidence yet again. Damn and blast, you kingfishers. So I'm just crossing over this bridge. And look at this river just teeming with fish. Tell you what, if there were crocodiles in there, they'd have a field day. Wow. It's like an aquarium. That one just having a sunbathe on a little bit of a log. And there's another monitor lizard crawling about the edge of the water. They look good, don't they? I like monitor lizards. I see them in um, Jakarta every now and again. People catch them there. I think possibly for their skin or maybe to eat them, I'm not sure. I'm enjoying this walk around the lake, actually. I'd advise anyone to do it. I'm doing it fairly early in the morning. Well, it's nine o'clock now, it's set up at eight, um, where it's cooler. But there's loads to see, it's completely safe, no one gives you any hassle. Just walk around, see the monitor lizards, see the ducks, see the kingfishers, see all the fish, see the sights, see the traffic and the mental buses going past. You might even see the fabled tree of white egrets. Here it is. Um, although I've completely made that up, I don't know why these birds are chosen this particular tree. They're all in this one. Why? Ah, it looks like they've built their nests. Fair enough. They've got some, something covered on them. Yeah, not very nice, is it, mate? I think one of your fellow birds has uh, had an accident on you. Right, so I'm leaving Candy Lake behind, and now I've got a five minute walk up this hill to the hotel. But I hope you've enjoyed my little walk around Candy Lake. I certainly have and my next video will be touring the sites of candy so i will say bye now and i will see you later on my tour of the city bye